afternoon students uh, today i am teaching you some shortcuts and tricks with respect to the oxy acids of sulfur okay now what are oxy acids of sulfur these are the acids where along with sulfur they are oxygen containing compounds all right now that's why they are called as oxy acids now let's start if i talk about sulfur we all know atomic number is 16 so the configuration goes neon 3s2 3p4 now 3s2 the 3s is one orbital p subshell has three orbitals so as per hun's rule this is the arrangement what we have in its ground state now we have the first excited state where one of the lone pair is shifted into its vacant 3d orbital so one electron goes there and we have a second excited state where the second lone pair is also shifted into the vacant d orbital so that's the part now if you observe carefully if sulfur has to lose 2 plus 4 six electrons in the outermost shell the maximum oxidation state can be plus 6 and as there are six electrons if it gains 2 its oxidation state its oxidation state can be as low as minus 2 so the oxidation state will range from minus 2 to plus 6 okay now we have three types of acids to discuss one is what i call hypo we all know hypo means low low oxidation state okay here a different way to remember the formulas with respect to oxy acids of sulfur it is 2 into the molecular formula of acid minus H two O two, that's what I call as hypo. Second, pyro. We all know pyro means pyrolysis on heating, where we get you know two of the acids when I heat or mix them together, then by elimination or by removal of water we get a higher compound. You have to remember pyro. Two into the molecular formula of acid minus H two O. That's what I call as pyro. and last we have that's what i have as thio thio in chemistry is with respect to sulfur where we say you will add one sulfur and remove one oxygen atom okay so you will add one sulfur and you will remove one oxygen atom so these are the three terms that we have that is nothing but hypo pyro and thio now to remember all the oxy acids we have to do this in a very simple and an easy way just see this part carefully we have to know only two acids if we know two acids we can play the entire oxy acids one is sulfurous acid what we know as h2so3 Now in H two S O three, if I see sulfur ka oxidation state minus two to minus six plus two, so sulfur is in plus four oxidation state. Now a way to draw the structure. Just see, please, everybody. There are two hydrogen atoms, so that's why it will have two O H bonds. So sulfur bonded to two O H bonds, and then people for the third part there'll be a double bond O. So this is what I have as. H two S O three sulfurous acid, and this sulfurous acid people we will try to divide into four parts now. So with sulfurous acid, the first category what I classify is what I call as hypo hypo sulfurous acid. So for hypo, what was the formula? Two into the molecular formula of sulfurous acid H two S O three minus H two O two. so this comes h4 s2 o6 minus h2 o2 that's h2 s2 o4 now again we have h2 meaning two oh bonds now how to do with respect to the sulfur part minus 2 into 4 minus 8 so plus 2 so two sulfur are plus 6 so each sulfur should be plus 3 okay let's see now how it is so first oh bonds that is one then another sulfur another oh then 
there will be a double bond O and a double bond O and a SS bond. So the common SS bond oxidation state will be taken as zero. That's the common bond part. And each sulfur has two oxygen and one with the OH ka oxygen. So each sulfur is plus three. This is what I have as hypo. Second category to discuss further is what I'll now call as pyro. Pyro sulfurous acid. Now what will be pyro sulfurous acid? Pyro sulfurous acid. So two into H2 S H2SO3 minus H2. So this will be H4 S2 O6 minus H2O. So the formula comes H2 S2 O5. Again people there are two H2. So as there are two H2 means two OH bonds. Now here if you observe minus 2 into 5 minus 10 plus 2 so 2 sulfur atom is plus 8 so each sulfur has to be plus 4 so the bonding will be S O H again an S O H a double bond O here also a double bond O and to balance there will be one more oxygen in between so each sulfur if you observe the oxidation state is plus 4 4 bonds to over here two with the oxygen one with the single bond and one with the OH oxygen so that's pyro sulfurous acid then more to talk in this only that will be called as thio sulfurous acid now thio sulfurous acid how will you do this part now this will be nothing but with respect to thio as I said add one sulfur and remove one oxygen so this will be H2 SO3 if I add over there a sulfur H2 S2 and remove an oxygen so O2 okay now here if you observe how will this be we have two hydrogen so again we are going to have nothing but over here as you rightly see two OH bonds so sulfur again having two OH bonds now to balance it if you observe minus 2 into 2 minus 4 uh, over here nothing but and this is plus 2 there so two sulfur atom ka net charge should be plus two. Matlab both the, of them are having different oxidation state. How is that possible? Only by putting a double bond S. So the arrangement will be this sulfur. Now here I will not take this as zero. I will be accounting for it because the net of two should come as over there as plus two as per the redox part. So minus two into two minus four. This will be plus two. So the two sulfur net should be plus 2 so this sulfur is in plus 4 this sulfur is in minus 2 so the net will come as plus 2 so this is called thio sulfurous acid and the last one to talk what we have in this category that will be dithionous acid okay so dithionous so this will be 2 into H2SO3 that will be twice minus here there is a separate formula H2O2 so if you do that this comes as H4S2O6 minus H2O2 so that comes as H2S2O4 so now again if you observe we have H2 so two OH bonds so this will be SOH another SOH to balance a double bond O again a double bond O and now there will be a direct bond over here so in this category if you observe if I put the oxidation numbers this single SS bond will be taken as zero so two with the oxygen and one with the OH ka oxygen so each sulfur is in plus three state so this is the catch with sulfurous acid I have made over here four compounds hyposulfurous acid pyrosulfurous acid thiosulfurous acid and dithionous acid okay now the last category to talk that is what we have with respect to sulfuric acid observe this carefully okay that's we all know h2so4 a dibasic acid so here this is sulfuric acid what we know sulfur in plus six oxidation state and two oh bond because it's h2 okay this is sulfuric acid where sulfur ka oxidation state is plus six all right 
Now, this category wise, we will have five compounds or five oxo acids with respect to H2SO4. First one to start, that will be pyrosulfuric acid. Now, pyro formula, 2 into H2SO4 formula minus H2O. So, here we do H4S2O8 minus H2O. So, this comes h 2 S2O7 pyrosulfuric acid where if you remember this is also called oleum if you remember contact process SO3 plus H2SO4 gives us H2S2O7 again H2 matlab 2 OH bonds so sulfur forming 2 OH bonds here also sulfur forming a OH bond then to balance the oxygen so double bond O double bond O here also double bond here also double bond and in between we will have oxygen here if you observe sulfur oxidation state minus 2 into 7 minus 14 so this is going to be plus 2 so each sulfur has to be in plus 6 oxidation state so you have a SOS bonds that's pyrosulfuric acid second we have thiosulfuric acid now thiosulfuric acid as usual H2SO4, add one sulfur, remove one oxygen. So this becomes H2S2O3. Again, it's H2. Matlab here again, you will have minus 2 into 3, minus 6, plus 2. So the two sulfur atoms over there are in plus 4 state. So the average of 2 has to be plus 4. H2 meaning 2 OH bonds. So sulfur, OH, same sulfur, OH. A double bond O and a double bond S where the above sulfur is in minus 2 state. The sulfur in between is in plus 6 state. So here don't take this as 0. Okay. Earlier case also we spoke about one if anybody remembers. Where was that we had a similar type of a situation. Is this clear? Just we had it prior over there that was in thiosulfurous acid. Similarly we have it in thiosulfuric acid also. Okay. This is one. Then we have one more category in this, what we call as dithionic acid. Earlier we spoke dithionous acid. Now I am saying dithionic acid. What is the formula for this? It is 2 into H2SO4 minus H2O2. Okay. So this will be h 4 H2O8 minus H2O2. So the formula goes H2S2O6. Now here again people H2 meaning 2 OH bonds. So this will be sulfur with 1 OH. We will have another sulfur with another OH. Then there will be a double bond O, a double bond O. Here also a double bond O, here also a double bond O. I think all are balanced. So here there will be a direct bond so this single ss bond its oxidation state will be zero so now on each sulfur the oxidation state is plus five that is dithionic acid now last two to go people a very easy one now look at the word as the answer per oxy mono sulfuric acid per oxy mono sulfuric acid which also has a trade name we have done in redox caro's acid all right now per oxy meaning one peroxide bond okay that's the meaning of the word and mono means single sulfuric acid so what we do we take this sulfuric acid only any of the oh we just put up peroxide bond what is the peroxide bond everyone o o bond o single bond o is the peroxide bond so either here or here Let's see this now. I'm showing you. So look at this. One side, I'm keeping it as it is. Now this side, I'll put a peroxide bond. So this is the peroxide bond. So that's what we have as H2SO4. Is this clear over here? What we have per oxy monosulfuric acid. So the formula, sorry, it will be H2SO5. So in one sulfuric acid, there is an extra oxygen. Okay. And the peroxide bond, what I'm talking this is the peroxide bond and where sulfur if you observe it is forming 2 4 5 and 1 6 so sulfur oxidation state is 
plus 6, these two oxygen are minus 1, whereas the rest of the oxygen are all in minus 2 state. We all know peroxides oxygen is minus 1, otherwise regular it is minus 2. Okay, that is one. And now the last one to talk, that is what we call as per oxy disulfuric acid. So again, it's very easy to remember this also. Per oxy, one peroxide bond, di, meaning two sulfuric acids you will take. And from the two OH groups of each one, you will remove hydrogen. So if you remove hydrogen, you will get this compound. I'll show you how it comes. See here. H O. This is one sulfuric acid. This is another sulfuric acid. So two sulfuric acid is what I'm showing you. And from these two, if I remove the two hydrogen, H2 gas minus hydrogen, then automatically I get a peroxide bond between two sulfuric acids. So from here 1O, one 1O one from here and then a mirror image of the same. Double bondo, double bondo and a OH. So this is called as per oxy disulfuric acid which is also called Marshall's acid. So two trade names and here also we have a peroxide bond. So with sulfurous acid and sulfuric acid, we can write all the oxy acids over here. Okay. Thank you.